Good morning. 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 Let us bring ourselves into the loving presence of God with a few moments of silent prayer and meditation.
Lord, with be with you. Let us pray. Thank you, dear God, for the gifts of babies as they enter into the life of this world and help us to live in their sight as examples of integrity and fairness, honor, and compassion. Let us rejoice in their presence among us. Help us to defend them and work to build a world that is worthy in all of them. We pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who called children to him. Amen. Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verses 41 through 52. Every year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the festival of the Passover. When he was 12 years old, they went up to the festival, according to the custom. After the festival was over, while his parents were returning home, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, but they were unaware of it, thinking he was in their company. They traveled on for a day. Then they began looking for him among their relatives and friends, but they did not find him. They went back to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple courts, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. Everyone who heard him was amazed at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. His mother said to him, Zeb, why have you treated us like this? Your father and I have been anxiously searching for you. Why were you searching for me? He asked. Didn't you know I would be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he was saying to them. Then he went down to Nazareth with them and was obedient to them. But his mother treasured all these things in her heart, and Jesus grew in wisdom and strength, and favor with God and man, the word of the Lord. Uh, hey guys, it's Father Michael. I gotta admit, I'm super annoyed right now. I'm, I'm late, and... I can't find my car keys. Does this happen at your house? I'm sure it does. I mean, I know I got home. I'm, I see my car in the driveway. I, I know it's around here somewhere. I know that can't be any, I mean, couldn't have got home if I didn't have them. And suddenly I just, I'm looking everywhere and I can't find them. I'm getting really frustrated, really annoyed. People are waiting for me and meeting can't start without me. And I just gotta get moving, but can't go anywhere until I find those car keys. Suddenly I realize a little bit more about what Mary and Joseph were thinking and feeling. You know, every year they would have gone up to a festival and it would have been in Jerusalem and they would have traveled with a bunch of people and they would have seen and, and done some things and Jesus would have gone with them. And the year that he was 12, they went with him and he, uh, oh gosh, they're not in here. He is really um, doing his thing and, and all of a sudden they decide to go home and they realize only after a day of traveling that Jesus isn't with them. And goodness, they are scared. They are frustrated. So they run back to Jerusalem to try and find him. And, and as they do it, they, they search for days and days and days and they don't know where to find him. And, and finally, after about three days, they find Jesus and he's in the temple and he's asking questions and he's answering questions and he's, he's exactly where he's supposed to be. And Mary and Joseph say, Oh my gosh, where have you been? What in the world? Where, did you know, we were, we've been looking for you and looking for you. And Jesus says, well, of course I was, I was going to be in my father's house. You know, it reminds me that there's a lot of times when we get frustrated and we get tired and, and it's always the last place that we're looking for, but we'll find Jesus in that spot. We'll find him exactly where we know he lives, in his house. And for us, the church is that house. It's that, that place where we can go and always find Jesus and know that, know that he's there, get the peace that we need. And, and that's a really good and important lesson for us all. If you're looking for Jesus, and we all are sometimes, 
you can go and find those communities where people are loving and serving the Lord, and Jesus will be right there. And it may be the very last place, but it's it's the place where you can always know to find him. Just like, ah, there they are, right where I left them. Anyway, I gotta go. Y'all have a great day.
Okay guys, go in peace to love and serve the Lord.